Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well we've got some buttons for you today and when you hover over them they're going to expand to the full width of the column they're in and change color there. Really easy to do. We do have to add a little bit of CSS code to do this today but don't let that put you off. Any code I'll write, I'll put below the video. You're welcome to use it if you need to. So let's get started. I've enabled the Visual Builder so we can build on the front end. I'm going to go down. There's our buttons. Let's just get rid of this one right here. And we'll start again. I'm going to add a new button or a new module, which will be a button module. I'm going to hit the little dark plus there. There's a button. Divi comes as standard with all these modules, plenty enough to build just about any site. If you're using WooCommerce, you get an extra dozen to display your product with also. Okay, well, I'm going to add a button module. Let's move this so we can see what's going on here. Obviously, put in what you want your button to say right there. The link for your button goes below here in the link funnily enough. Now best practice is if you're linking to your own site leave it in the same window. If you're linking off site to some other website put it in a new tab so that your site stays open. Okay let's move on to our design. Alignment wise I'm going to pop my button in the middle. Uh, text I'm going to leave that just as it is for the moment. I'm going to do all my styling actually in the button itself. So let's move on down to the button drop down there. And I'm going to say use custom styles button. I'm going to leave button text size just as it is. Obviously adjust it to how you want. I'm going to make mine white. It's going to disappear for the moment until we change the background color. But that's okay. So here's our button background. I'm going to make my button blue just like my other buttons and as you can see the text has come back there. Now when people hover over this I want the button to change color. Uh, we used green before, let's use purple for fun today. So if you just hover over the dark writing button background there and this is common to most Divi modules you'll see a load of icons pop up. There's a little arrow there it's going to allow you to set a hover state and a desktop state. Desktops when your mouse is not on it. Hover obviously is when your mouse is hovering over it. So let's change that to purple when we hover on it, blue when we're not. Okay moving on down I'm just going to take the border away. Don't want a border on there at all obviously that's up to you. If you do have a border and you want to make it the same color as your button then do the same thing hover over and set the color with a little arrow just right there. Okay Font I'm going to leave just as it is. If you've seen any of my other videos you'll realize that Divi has got a crazy amount of fonts. It really has. There's hundreds of them. You're not going to get stuck for a font. And if you want to check them out just hover over one and it'll show you an example of what that font's going to look like. I'm going to stick with the default today. I'm not going to have a button icon. If you want one on hover just leave it as it is and as you can see the little icon will pop up there. I'm going to turn mine off. If you actually want to see it all the time, put it back on. And there's another button down here, only show icon on hover. If you switch that to no, you'll see your icon all the time. But I don't want mine today, so I'm going to turn that one off. Great. So we've got our color change and we've got our text. So what I want to do now is actually create the expanding effect sort of horizontal expand. Now we're not going to use transform today we're going to actually use a bit of custom CSS. So if we go over to advanced got custom CSS right here. Before, main element and after. I want the main element and what I'm going to do first is set a width so all my buttons are the same width because usually it's dependent on how much text you've got in there how wide they are. So I'm going to give it a width. I think I used 170 pixels on those. So I'll use the same for this one in the main element. So I'm going to write width colon 170 pixels. Semicolon 
as you can see that's made that 170 now and if I go back to change the text just to something really short you can see that button stays exactly the same size okay let's go back and we'll write our hover state and again it's just like we did with the color go up hover over the dark writing right there you can see the little arrow desktop and hover state for the hover state I wanted to fill out the whole available space that we've got there so for the, for the hover state I'm going to simply write width 100% there we go and as you can see that's filled out the whole area and you can do all kind of things in the hover state you can make it rounded corners if you wanted to to make it sort of morph into a rounded button but I'm going to leave mine just like that with the default corners on it. Okay, the only other thing is if you want to, you can still in the advanced tab, you can slow down the time that it actually takes to go from the hover state to the desktop state or vice versa. And you do that with transitions. Here's a transition duration. You can slow it down a bit. Let's slow it down to maybe half a second. Well, I'm going to use ease in, ease out. These are all slightly different some of them will work better than others in situations but i like the ease in and ease out for these type of effects but that's entirely up to you okay we've got everything that we want going on there so let's save our changes and see if this is actually going to work for us today little purple button save the page changes once saved we can exit the visual builder roll on down to where we want to go there's our buttons. When I hover over, it should expand and turn purple. There we go, just like that. And that should take half a second. I made these green over here, I believe. But that's a nice little effect to have on your site. If people are mousing over, it's, might, it's going to get their eyeballs on it. It might possibly get them to click your button, which is what you want people to do. So there's a very simple way of making some expanded buttons using the fantastic Divi theme. Like I say, a little bit of CSS, very simple. I'll put it below the video. You're welcome to use it any way you wish. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.